Another study reveals some eye-opening numbers on the faithful and their attitude on the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist. Vinnie research found that 69% of mass attending Catholics believe in the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. The study was conducted in 2022 and its findings differ greatly from the much discussed Pew Research poll from 2019 that found only one third of mass going Catholics in the U.S. believed in the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist. And for analysis, we turn now to Hans Plate, founder and president of Vinier Research. Hans, great to be with you. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about this. Um, why did your study come up with such different findings from those of Pew Research? And what about the difference in the language that you use as opposed to the questions from Pew? Yeah, it, I think the, find, or the findings were different principally because of the language. So there were two major changes we made to Pew's wording of the question. Uh, the first is their framing of the question was around the bread and wine actually becoming the body and blood of Jesus. And if you read what the, the catechism teaches, what the uh, USCCB and the bishops, uh, how they teach on the subject, they're often using the phrase uh, uh, real presence or truly present. And so that's that's one of the major changes we made. We use the phrase truly present as opposed to actually becomes, because I think it's language that Catholics are more familiar with and certainly language that the church proper uses. Um, the other major change we made was in the response options that respondents were given to choose from. So you could either select that um, you believe that it actually becomes the body and blood or that it was a symbol. And technically, both are actually true, right? So it is a symbol though it's not merely a symbol. And so we wanted to be clearer in, in that distinction. So our symbol option, as it were, was that um, it was a symbol, but it was uh, Jesus is definitely not present in the body and blood. And so now, it, now we're mutually exclusive, and now we're, you know, it, it's a little bit clearer for respondents which one to, to, to select. Yeah, language really does make a difference. Yeah. Um, I know your study also broke down the belief in the true presence based on how often people attend Mass. Talk to us more about those findings. Yes. Well, what was probably not surprising is that among those who go to Mass more often, their belief in the real presence is much higher. Um, so I think it, among those who go to Mass weekly or more often, it's a little over 80 uh, percent. What was surprising to me is if you look at the two groups of Catholics that go to Mass very infrequently, so those who go once or twice a year, their belief in the real presence, you know, 51 percent of them believe in the real presence. Uh, about two-thirds of those who go to Mass infrequently, so less than once a month, also believe in the real presence. And and that's, you know, what what is the depth of belief in the real presence? Because they say they believe it, but they're not going to Mass, right? And so that's, I think, a limitation of asking um, a question on a nuanced topic like Eucharistic belief on the basis of two simple questions. I think what's lacking is uh, understanding the depth of that belief uh, in order to really understand what people think about the, the transubstantiation and the real presence. Yeah, and, and before I let you go, you know, why yeah. did you all decide to do the study in the first place? I understand it, it wasn't part of the official National Eucharistic Revival. So what sparked you to do this study? Well, so there was a lot of buzz around this study, the Pew study, when it came out in 2019. And we obviously, you know, are very attuned to anything that comes out from uh, secular uh, polling organizations on Catholic beliefs. And, and what struck us right away was that the language uh, just seemed unfamiliar to us. And so we wanted to do an experiment to see, is it just my discomfort with the language or, or is, you know, did that actually drive the difference? And so it was really just curiosity uh, and wanting to understand the topic a little bit better to see what, well, you know, what Catholics really believe about the real presence. Yeah, and what's next uh, for Vinier Research? And what would you like people to know a little bit more maybe about this study? Where can they access this information? Sure, sure. So, um, so the, the the report you can find on our website, viniaresearch.com, V-I-N-E-A, and there's a report tab where you can access this report and a couple of other reports. A lot of the work we do is for apostolates, so those are private reports and, and aren't um, part of you know what we share publicly. But the the next study we're working on is around the kerygma, the, the Catholic, the extent to which Catholics believe the different components that go into the kerygma, so belief in, in God, belief in Satan, the sacraments, um, evangelization, all of that. And so we're working with a couple of other partners on, on that study and hope to have that available probably in the fall sometime. All right, looking forward to that. Hans, thank you so much for coming on today. We really appreciate it. God bless. Thanks, Tracy. God bless.